A Pickerington principal is back on the job today, but parents are still concerned about what they're calling a lack of transparency from the district. TNTV's Bryant Somerville has been following this story very closely this week. Bryant, we're learning more information tonight about why Central uh, Pickerington Central's principal Stacy Tenenbaum was placed on administrative leave. Uh, what more do we know about that? Yeah, and according to documents obtained today, this information is not necessarily from the district, but instead from Principal Tenenbaum herself. Pickerington Central Principal Stacy Tenenbaum was back in the building Friday, while the district says it continues an independent investigation. I'm glad that she's back where she is because that's where she deserves to be. 10 TV News talked with Central Mother Leslie Gilligan Wednesday after she says the district was less than transparent about why Tenenbaum was placed on administrative leave in the first place. In a statement to parents Thursday evening announcing Tenenbaum's return, it references a statement from Tenenbaum herself to Central staff, saying she recognized she made a statement that could be perceived as culturally insensitive back on January 27th, that she profoundly regrets any negative impact and that Mrs. Tenenbaum will receive additional cultural sensitivity training. Gilligan wonders if this was known back in January, why parents were left in the dark. We know that we are not intended to know the specifics, right? But it seems very clear that the district chooses when and where to share details and where they don't. 10 TV obtained the statement Tenenbaum sent to her staff where she says on January 28th, she informed the district she had made a comment that was perceived as culturally insensitive in reference to an interaction she had with a student. In the two weeks since the incident, Gilligan says rumors have only grown and many, if not all, have been damning to both Tenenbaum and Pickerington North Principal Mark Albrecht's character, who was also placed on administrative leave for what the district calls non-related complaints. Rumors Gilligan says the district could have absolutely squashed. And what they're doing is they're taking an administrator who is 30 years in the district, near 30 years in the district, and dragging her name through the mud for something that she had integrity enough to go and report herself. Now, I did ask the district if there was any kind of an update concerning Principal Albrecht's situation. I was told because these are personnel issues that the district's attorneys are now handling all responses. But when I asked who these attorneys are and how to get in touch with them, I was not given a reply. Guys. Well, Bryant, you've covered similar personnel issues with this district that were handled differently. Yeah, it's certainly interesting to hear that the district does not want to comment on this uh, situation because of personnel issues, when in fact the district has a rich history of commenting on these types of issues and seemingly trying to get in front of situations. If you go back to 2020, uh, Assistant Principal Demika Bates had a promotion rescinded after she posted online that was uh, critical of police. And then later that year, Principal Ruth Stickle was given a 10 day suspension after she posted on social media uh, about the Black Lives Matter movement. And then just last year in 2021, Pickerington social worker Jesse Burr was placed on administrative leave after she posted on Facebook dealing with Columbus police and also a 16 year old girl who was shot and killed. So right there are three situations, personnel situations that the district did comment on. But for some reason, the district, when it comes to Principal Stacey Tenenbaum and Principal Mark Albrecht, is remaining quiet. Guys.